Hi, I'm Dr. James Kojin. In this video, we're going to learn how you can feel better, burn fat faster, have more energy by making sure your blood levels of the components of your blood are normal. The first one we want to look at is DHEA. DHEA is a very powerful, powerful hormone in your blood, and it stands for dihydroepiandrosterone. Dihydroepiandrosterone is the backbone for other hormones. It's a precursor, so it needs to be at high normal levels. It's a precursor for estrogen, for testosterone, for many other things that are important in your body. So have your doctor check your blood level for DHEA. Make sure it is normal or high normal so you feel better. The next one is cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. Cortisol is damaging. Cortisol is like insulin. It's bad. So you want to make sure when your doctor checks your cortisol level that your cortisol level is low. And if it's not low, you can talk to your doctor and he can explain ways in which you can lower your cortisol level by changing your diet, your lifestyle, and reducing your stress and other things. The third component is vitamin D. Vitamin D is low in most Americans. We don't live outside like we used to in the farm and gather and farm all day. We're indoors, we don't get enough sun. And so categorically, most Americans' vitamin D level is below normal. Most people in this country need to take vitamin D have your doctor check your vitamin D levels, make sure it's normal so that you feel better and you act with more energy and you sleep better and it's all combined in a holistic approach. The next one is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is your blood. Hemoglobin is your engine. Most women that are premenopausal that have periods and lose blood every month have low hemoglobin. Normal hemoglobin is 15. When you lose blood every month, your hemoglobin goes down to 12 or 13. Losing two or three grams of hemoglobin causes you to have less energy. It's slow and it creeps up on you so you don't really feel it, but you kind of understand that you just don't have enough energy like when it comes eight or nine or 10 o'clock and you don't have enough energy like you used to before. The reason for that is that your hemoglobin level, for whatever reason, is not 15. It's not 14.5. It's probably 12 or 13 or 11. And so you don't even realize that you're weaker than normal. You're weaker than usual. You want the engine of your blood, you want your engine of your body to be 15, 16, you want it to be a Ferrari so you feel amazing. Most people have chronic anemia and it makes them feel weak and they have less energy and it also lowers their metabolism. The next one is thyroid stimulating hormone and T4. This is in regards to your thyroid. Your thyroid regulates your metabolism, controls how fast you burn calories. Some people can eat chocolate and ice cream and they don't gain weight. Other people walk by it and they have two pounds on them. It's because their thyroid level is low. These other blood values are off. That's throwing off the way they feel. That's throwing off their metabolism and it's giving them less energy. So this is something your doctor should check. You want your TSH to be low normal. You want your T4 to be high normal. Another important one is coenzyme Q10 or also known as ubiquinol. Ubiquinol is a vitamin. It's very important. It's everywhere. It's inside the cell. And you want your coenzyme Q10 level to be high normal. You want the cell and the Golgi apparatus and all the mitochondria of your cell to have plenty of ubiquinol or coenzyme Q10 so they can have a proper framework to create energy, ATP, so that they are strong working together and so that you feel better and have more energy. So those people who are having trouble losing weight or just don't feel themselves, it's probably hidden in the fact that one of these or other blood tests are off. You want your blood test to be optimized. You want your blood test to be good so that you feel optimized, you feel great, and you feel good. I hope this helps in explaining how our different blood tests can actually impact how we feel and how we burn calories. I'm Dr. James Kojin, thank you.